National. Here is Brian Stewart. Good evening. Canadians' concerns over tainted meat are still growing tonight, along with that already huge recall list and the number of people who have died in connection with the listeriosis outbreak. Now it's 15 people in four provinces. And if you're worried you may have eaten some of that meat yourself or served it to someone else, you're not alone. The CBC's Lori Graham reports. For Karen Clark and her brother Tim, this old house brings back memories. It's where their mother Frances grew up. At 89, they say she was still strong and independent, but after a bad fall this summer, she had to move to a nursing home. Then last week, she suddenly became ill, was rushed to hospital, and died within 48 hours. Doctors told the family she had listeriosis. Right now, we can't even get to the grief end of it yet because we're just totally overblown by it. Like, where do you, where do you even start, you know, to understand this? There are now a total of 15 deaths in Canada. Six were caused by listeriosis. Nine are still under investigation. The majority of deaths have occurred in Ontario, but there's been one in B.C. and today, one in Quebec and another in Saskatchewan. The death is still being investigated. She is a senior, so it, she's, it's characteristic of the individuals who've been uh, having listeria disease in the rest of the country. As the number of cases continue to rise, so does the level of anxiety. Jeff Newfield ate maple leaf sandwich meat about 10 days ago. Now he's showing symptoms of food poisoning and he's worried he could have listeriosis because the code on the package is 97B, a match for the meat on the recall list. I said, well, now this is making sense why I'm running off to the, the washroom and, and you know, just uh, this morning, for example, uh, uh, just lethargic and not, I, I didn't get out of bed till noon. And have you had contact with the same symptoms many others have described to Tony Merchant, a lawyer who has recently launched a class action against Maple Leaf Foods. So far, close to a thousand people have signed up. People who have lost loved ones, those who lost money, and others who became sick. There are a great many people who have suffered, are worried, and they mer they are deserving of compensation. Um, the Clark family hasn't confirmed whether they'll sue. Right now, they're preparing to say goodbye to their mother. She has uh, four grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. That's all left without a grandma now, or a minor mother. So. Yeah. Mm. Just as families are coming forward, Maple Leaf appears to be stepping back. The company was supposed to hold a news conference today, but cancelled at the last minute. Lori Graham, CBC News, Toronto. Now, what we still don't know is exactly how the Maple Leaf Foods plant at the centre of the outbreak became contaminated in the first place. And that's prompting questions about the testing that was done there. The CBC's health reporter Maureen Taylor has that story. It's the pressing question officials still haven't entirely answered. Could the listeria contamination at Maple Leaf Foods have been picked up earlier? Could deaths have been prevented? Politicians, public health and food safety officials have spent the week the pointing out how well the system worked. So while this situation is of course tragic, it is important to note that this is an example of where our surveillance system worked. If I was a family member of one of the deceased, I would certainly not think that the surveillance system is working great. It's impossible to judge whether the system is working great or not because officials have not provided a timeline. When was the first case recognized? When were other cases recognized? When was testing ordered? Today, from the Democratic Convention in Denver, the minister's views have not changed. The fact of the matter is the public health system never gets credit for all the deaths you avoid. And the fact is, in this case, there were probably many deaths that were avoided. If you find it in one package... Last night, Maple Leaf Foods told CBC News the company's own routine testing showed the presence of listeria in the production line before people began to get sick. We would occasionally find uh, a listeria, positive listeria swab, in which case we sanitize that complete area and we test again. Maple Leaf insists the Canadian Food Inspection Agency had access to that information, but the CFIA says its on-site inspector filed no record of positive listeria tests. 
and this is one thing that we're going to try and establish. When did they know it, and when did they tell us, and what did they do? That's what the team is working on right now. Actually, I, I'd like to know more about that, Marine, because it makes sense to me that if, the, if there is a positive source that it in any way could potentially come in contact with a food source, then we want to get to the bottom of that. The CFIA says so far Maple Leaf Foods is cooperating in the investigation. When the plant reopens on Thursday, every product that comes off the production line will be tested for listeria, and that will continue until officials are satisfied the problems are resolved. Maureen Taylor, CBC News, Toronto.